Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Today we're testing out the Vogue or Vogue 525ACX. It is a very similar bike to the 500AC. Slight differences, like well, slight actually, it's a big difference. There's a totally new engine in this one here. Maybe it's the new developed engine from Lonsine, which will we see much uh, more often in the future. Who knows? It has about 20 cc more or so, but they say it is a better engine. The windscreen, uh, we have a windscreen on this one, on the other one we didn't. We have spoke wheels, difference is there. We have different tires. We have a different exhaust, looks different. So on the left-hand side, we have the uh, controls. Uh, in the front for your index finger, we have the light switch, high beam, low beam, passing light if you, if you pull it to, your, to you. We also have the clutch lever, which is adjustable in four positions. We have the enter button here for the display to get into it, get, to get out of it. We have high uh, up and down uh, button here for the display. We have the hazard light switch here. We have the turn signal switch here. And we have the horn here. On the right hand side, we have the uh, throttle, we have the uh, brake lever, which is adjustable in five positions for the front disc brakes. We have the emergency cutoff switch here and the starter switch combined. And that's everything for the controls. So in the middle, we have the display. I have set it now to sport. We have two display, two kinds of displays, sport and classic. This is the sporty one where you can see the RPM counter actually, which looks like a little bit of a tire track. Basically, you have all the info in the display in the middle, very dominant. We have the um, speedometer. We also have a tire pressure monitoring system. You can see that in the lower left corner. We have the, a fairly big uh, gear indicator down below, but in the other display, it is actually fairly small. And that's about it uh, with the enter. You press it maybe one or two seconds, you get into the menu. I will not show you very much because it's uh, for me very difficult to get out of it because you also need the enter key to get out of it. You need to press it longer, but somehow for me, it never ever works. We have settings, we have my vehicle info. I will shortly go into settings to show you everything. We can change the language, only English or Chinese units, UI. Uh, meaning classic or uh, sport. We have tri trip reset time, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, TPMS, which is the tire pressure monitoring system and phone book sync and something 
down below. I don't want to get into that because, as I said, I don't really understand the logic of this here yet. To get out of it, you press the enter key longer. Okay, and that actually worked this time. Then we have the My Vehicle info here. We have like the battery voltage. We have the coolant temperature. We have the miles until the next service. We have, or rather kilometers, we have the average fuel consumption, 4.3, as you can see here, and the tire pressure monitoring system in the information down below. Oh, it worked, okay. <laughs> and we exit here. And this is the display, as I said, this is the sport display. That's everything to the display. We can actually, um, we can actually connect our phone to it. So apparently maybe we can listen to Bluetooth music or stuff like that. Uh, navigation is not implemented. Uh, just a heads up, I just wanted to let you know uh, here it's a little bit hidden. There's a USB connector. So if you want to connect or charge anything, your phone on the handlebar, you can plug it in there. There's a USB connection here. So this is the Vogue or Voge 525 ACX and we'll take it out for a little spin. Let's go. Okie dokie, the first thing that you notice when you get on this bike is the higher seat height. It has 840 millimeters, <laughs> how do I pronounce millimet millimeters of seat height. So it is a bit higher than the regular 500 AC. That's another difference, uh, apparently because of the higher or the, the bigger uh, front tire, which is 19 inch and 17 inch in the rear. The 500 AC has 17, 17. So the seat is a bit higher. So if you're very small like me, I have to tiptoe basically almost on this one, just like on my CB500X, which I had. Anyways, let's get this baby started and uh, then we'll go back to the dealer. The clutch comes in very late, just like on, I guess, on most of the Vogue Voge uh, bikes and also as on Honda. And actually, I like this better, this display with the, uh, with the RPM counter. It looks a bit, yeah, it actually looks a bit sportier. We have to be careful. I noticed already when you go through the corners here, the, the throttle is a little bit jerky. So if you go through the corners and you accelerate, you might get a kick and you might, something might happen in the corner. So be really careful. At least that's what it is on this test ride bike here. So rumor has it that it is a bit more sporty. And I think so, but maybe it's only me because I heard all these marketing talks. <laughs> so I'm not 100% sure. Pretty nice and sporty. Definitely pretty nice for a cafe racer in a retro look. And that's what it is. And I like it very much. This is one of these bikes again, which I sometimes keep saying, uh, if I had enough money, if I had space in my garage, I would certainly buy it. I don't have any any negatives against this. So only the color I would like to have in red, of course. But other than that, it is pretty nice. It does what it does. It looks good. 
there's nothing really wrong with it i think and um, well actually well the mirrors are kind of longish you know stretched mirrors and i said on the 500 ac that i don't really like them but here oh huh, maybe it was just another bad hair day for me but here not too bad actually so i don't really have anything to complain about the mirrors The display is very clear, very sharp. You can see everything usually also when the sun is in the in the in the back here from me. You can still see everything. There were some TFT displays which were just horrible. And when the sun was in the rear, you didn't see anything anymore. One thing about the tires, the front is a 19 inch, so it is a bit uh, more cumbersome to actually turn it around but of course it is very stable in the corners because of that but still it is not that agile because of this 19 inch tire that's what i noticed already the uh, shifting is very smooth everything is it's very easy to do everything is very easy to operate oh uh, yeah if you get used to the clutch which comes in very late uh, of course you have to get used to the <laughs> throttle which is very jerky um, but other than that it is really a joy to ride engine seems very quiet the uh, exhaust is kind of uh, somehow noisy poppy maybe in second gear or so or when you shift down but other than that it is fairly quiet it is uh, at least uh, here at, uh, on, on, at my ears, in my ears, uh, the, the, not much uh, gets to my ears of the sound. Um, maybe in the video you can hear it better, but here uh, my ears and uh, the helmet, I don't hear very much from the engine at all. Only maybe, you know, first, second gear. It is actually a good bike. I would buy it. I would highly, or I can highly recommend this to you if you're in the market for a nice looking cafe racer which still might be a bit cheaper than the competition anyways that's all for my test right here today of the Vogue Voge 525 ACX it is basically a, a newer development and especially the engine of the 500 AC and yeah pretty nice so that's all i can say to you thanks very much for watching this has been a ride out take care bye bye